Hey folks, it's Dominique, and today I'm going to present to you a new game that came out this past summer called Meadow. It's a one to four player game for ages 10 and up. In Meadow, players are nature observing wanderers who compete for the title of the most skilled observer. There are many moving parts in this game, which means many ways to get points and many strategies to try. I'm not going to get to all the details of gameplay today because that would make a mighty long video. Instead, I'm going to focus on the main gameplay mechanics and share our impressions. Uh, here's a quick look at setup for a two-player game. So first we have the main board that's kind of laid out like a map. This is where players pick cards to add to their hands or to their collections. We have the west, south, and east draw piles that correspond with these columns. So the north pile swaps with the south halfway through the game to add more complex cards, so I've just set it aside. The second board here is the campfire. Players can perform special actions by placing their color tokens in these notches or get bonus points. Depending on the number of players, you need to block off some of the notches. Because this is set up for a two players, I have blocked two of the notches. The bonus points come from these tiles. And this is also where players are able to track the rounds with this little blue hiker man. Each player gets all the tokens associated with their color, one road token, and a two-sided starting card. Players can choose which side they want to start on. To draw up to the starting five cards, each player chooses a row from this main board, meaning that they pick up one west, two south, and one east card. And then to get a fifth card, they will draw one from the north deck. On the first playthrough, it might be easier to randomly draw these, this combination of cards since you might not be sure exactly what you want. Before I explain what a turn looks like, I'm going to explain the main way to get points, being that the player with the most points wins. There are two types of cards, one that has a ground symbol on the bottom and a species symbol at the top, and one that has a point value at the bottom and a species symbol at the top that also has a requirement recipe underneath of where the species is indicated. This part of the game is about matching up the requirement symbols to what you have in your collection to get more species to be able to get more higher value cards. For my example, I'm going to start off with three ground cards that have different types of ground and different species at the top. If I want to play this card to get one point and gain a paw print symbol, I need to have the required tree to be able to play the card. So here I have a tree symbol, so I can place this card on top of the tree, but I make sure that I don't cover the ground. The ground symbol must always be visible. Now I no longer have a tree, but I've gained the paw print. Some cards have an either or requirement, like this one. To get one point, I need to have at least a grub or a frog. Right now I have both, so I have the choice of which card I want to add it to. I'm going to put it on the frog here. Some cards actually have more than one requirement, like this one. It needs a rocky ground and a grub. Again, I have the choice of which stack to add the card to. Either this one that has the grub, or this one that has the rocky ground. I'm going to add it here to the one with the rocky ground, because this next card that I happen to have picked up it needs grass and a grub. If I had covered up the grub with the butterfly card, I wouldn't have been able to play this one. This stacking of cards is the main mechanic of the game, and it's a neat puzzle to work through as you go through the rounds. Players can have up to 10 columns of cards, which might sound like a lot, but after our first game, we kind of found that we wanted more. So back to the main gameplay. There are two choices players have each time their turn comes around. Option one looks like this. So I decide which card I want to take and check my path tokens to see how I can get it. So the players slide the triangular part of the token into the slot and count the number up or across that is on the triangle end of the token. This means you can't just pick up any old card and this can quickly become quite limiting with which cards you can get as other players fill up the spots as well. Then the player gets to play the card from their hand uh, and add it to their collection. If a player decides to go to the campfire, they use the other end of the path token to use the special action, such as play two cards, take one card from the board, uh, look at the top three cards of any deck and keep one. There are a few more elements to the game, like what are these roads, and why are some of the cards sideways? But I'll leave you to discover those on your own. Meta was a fun strategy game, but it certainly takes some time to get into the groove of play with so many options. Once players are familiar with the rhythm of the turns, the pace picks up as everyone homes in on building their collections to maximize their points. 
Something you might really like or really dislike is just how much other players can mess up your plans when you're trying to draw cards from the main board and get blocked by others. Progression in the challenge and it really forces you to strategize for getting the best combination of early game cards before that inevitable shift into the more complex cards. The game also comes with five mini expansions right out of the gate to add more intrigue to the cards once your game night group is ready to advance. From the beautifully designed artwork to the thoughtful design of the gameplay, Meadow is a wonderful addition to any player's shelf that likes collecting cards and flexing their logic. Our box expert was intrigued enough to come and join us while we were playing, but wasn't as keen on the box. If you're interested in Meadow, check out the comichunter.net for this and many other awesome board games to play. Happy gaming!